everyone. Hey. Welcome to our sixth Castle Summer Day One. Oh my gosh. It's finally happening. We tried to do this one time before. We're trying it again. And everything stopped. We did not tell anybody we we're doing this when we were planning it because we're worried we'd jinx it. We are now going to be traveling around the whole world to see all the Disney castles. We are visiting oh. every Disney park in the entire world in just a couple months time. Yes. So this is super, super exciting. If you haven't clicked the subscribe button yet, make sure to click it so you follow our, follow our adventure because we're we're just doing this and hoping that we get to every single park and that it that it works out. <laughs> we're going to show you every Disney castle. Every Disney, Disney castle in the world. Okay, let's do this. All right, so we are on our way to the airport right now to head to our first Disney castle. And what castle is that? Disneyland. Disneyland. So we're starting at home base. We're starting where it all began. Disneyland is our first castle that we're visiting. And we're heading there right now. It is 536 in the morning. We had a super early wake up call. And uh, we're going to get to Disneyland. And, and yeah. we're super excited. The then weather from, looks great. And then from great. Disneyland, the the, we're going to be going to Japan. Ah! And then I think we keep the rest of the surprise. Oh, OK. Okay, awesome. All right, well, Disneyland, here we come. Disneyland and Disney California Adventure. Starting off with a little bit of breakfast. How is it? Good. <laughs> Fueling up. All right. We're in it's the airport. Good. It's good. <laughs> about ready to take off. We're in the airport and we're about ready to take off and have a little breakfast and we're gonna fly away. Okay, so we're super excited about our Disney day today because I made reservations at Cafe Orleans. <laughs> so we get to eat at Cafe Orleans today, which is my favorite restaurant. That and Lamplight Lounge, my two favorite restaurants at the Disneyland Resort. So we've got that. Our son wants to ride Space Mountain and Indiana Jones, and we're just ready. We're ready for the day. Okay, so here's what just happened. I just found out that I was upgraded and uh, Amanda was not upgraded. <laughs> So now, what do you do as a husband? Do you say, hey, um, I'll take the seat, you take the upgraded seat, and, and then I'll stay with Miles, or do I just take the seat and just use, enjoy the long leg room because I have longer legs? I'm gonna offer it to Amanda. Hey, babe. I, I was upgraded, and so... Uh, <laughs> At least you're still. Well, I just wanna say, do you, I'm gonna give you that seat. I don't want it. Hi. I don't oh. want it. Miles is Don't showing. We got we got a we got a little treat, watermelon snacks. Seems like whenever in the airport we buy treats I don't normally buy. Like I would, would never buy these, but now we're here in the airport. I'm like I want them. Oh, that's nice. That's I want them. Nice. <laughs> that's nice. So anyways, we're gonna see. You want that seat? I want you don't, to have that seat. I don't want that seat. I want you to have it. You have the long legs. Why we're waiting? They have massage chairs here in the airport, but I've been told that if you sit in these chairs and you don't pay. After a while, it'll adjust and it'll become uncomfortable to make you get out of the chair because they don't want you sitting there for free. So let's see if that does that. Like, is it moving at all? No. No. Not even a little bit. Not even. <laughs> maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was, it's very maybe, nice. Maybe the information I, <laughs> maybe the information no, feels, I had was wrong. It feels good. It feels comfortable. Huh. Let's come back and just see. And do, we'll just sure. review this in a moment. <laughs> so it's been about a minute. Thank Nothing's you. happened. <laughs> This experiment failed. I've been t I was told that they adjust so that way you, people won't sit in them. It feels fine. All right, Chris was like, let me try. Let me try this. Is it moving? No. But like when I was in Walt Disney World, they used to sit down, the ones that had like in the arcades for kids, it would adjust and then like stop. Like, and then like, ah. so, Disney has figured it out. They know how to work the chairs for optimum. This one doesn't do it. No? <laughs> Aww. This one, they're kind, so they let you just sit in it for free. Disney's like, nope, you're paying. Nope. No free. <laughs> Nothing's free. Okay, so we just got the board. Amanda says that I could have the extra leg room, so I'm gonna take it. But I did offer. I did offer. I feel, I feel a little guilty. Not a lot, but a little. I just came back to check out Miles and Amanda. And... <laughs> hey, baby. I'm so tired. Yeah. Like four hours of sleep last night. All right. So Amanda said she had a dream on the plane. Like, is this what all of my dreams are like? And I just don't realize it. But I remember this dream because I was woken up in the middle of it. And the dream was just 
a bunch of people in a line doing some sort of like line dance, just like. That like went on for like half an hour and then I just woke up. <laughs> that was your dream? <laughs> That's what I did. Doing like a can can dance? Now you guys know what I dream. Way to go, babe. <laughs> All right, we're at John. We just landed at John Wayne Airport, and we are now heading to catch our Uber. That's gonna take us to Disneyland. First stop. <laughs> yeah, get it. Wow, this is gonna be a whirlwind event, guys. We're traveling around, doing all these different things. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, so thank you for being with us. I appreciate that. It makes us feel a little better. And uh, this is going to be the first stop at Disneyland, and then we'll be doing there for a couple days, and then boom, all the way around the world. Let's do it. All right, so one of the biggest things we have to worry about when we travel is car seats. Oh, right. And this is, this is now make it, keep in mind, we're not endorsing this or anything like this. We're just wanting you to know this is what we use. We like it a lot. This is an inflatable car seat. And what you do is you blow it up. A booster. It's a booster. I'm sorry, a booster. You blow it up, and you put the straps here for the, the seat belt. That way Miles is boosted up high. And, and then, then there's a strap that goes around Yeah, the strap there. goes around there. And then when you're done, you just deflate it and we put it in our backpack. And that's what actually Miles has in his backpack is the car seat. It's so a little booster. Little booster. I keep saying car seat, but I mean booster. So if you're, if your child, if you need a, this is something we actually like a lot. Amanda, mm -hmm. we've used lots of different ones. So this one's been our this favorite. This has been my favorite. Yeah, we've used a bunch of different ones, but this one's by far my favorite. And look where we are, guys. Entering into Disneyland! We're having a little bit of a disagreement of where we're gonna eat breakfast at this morning. <laughs> Miles and Amanda are kind of going back and forth. I'm gonna be so long for the ride, guys. Miles said McDonald's. Miles wanted to eat McDonald's, where Amanda wants the Jolly Holiday. I'm like, we're gonna eat inside Disneyland. <laughs> for Disneyland, we're gonna so, eat inside. I'm just being quiet, letting them kind of <laughs> bicker it out. All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you a hack that you can do here at Disney. We've got our backpacks. We dropped some stuff off at the hotel, but we got a bunch of backpacks with us here. I'm gonna show you the best place to store the backpacks uh, if you need a large locker. So uh, before you even get into the park, it doesn't matter which park you're going to, go, going to DCA or be going, you going to Disneyland. Let me show you where you can find a large locker. And let's do this. There's the beautiful entrance into Disneyland. And we're gonna go walk right over here. There's like a little area back here it's kind of secluded, not a lot of people. Oh, there goes Monorail. It's kind of a secluded little area, and we're gonna go over here, I'll show it to you. So we see right here, we have the entrance. We're walking past the entrance. Right there, that is where they have guest services and lost and found. If you ever lost something, you might've gone there. And then past that, you have some lockers, but those are not the lockers that we're going to. So right here, we have the lockers, but we're gonna walk past the lockers together the men and women's bathroom, and we're turned left into this little picnic area. Now this is a nice little area. It's a very underutilized area. You come here, relax, and have like a nice little area with the family, and you see all these different tables and relax. But if you'll notice over there, they have, these are oversized lockers, where you can go in and you do these oversized lockers. They can hold uh, like suitcases, small suitcases, but they are the largest lockers you can find here at Disney. So, yes, yeah, see these big lockers right here. Boom, 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 boom. This is awesome. All right, so we just got, we got this large locker. Oh, it's humongous. Yeah, so this is a big locker that can actually hold three backpacks. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is great. This is humongous. So, it's back in. gonna fit like a small, would it fit a carry-on yes. suitcase? Yes, it will. That's awesome. And you have to take them out at night, so. I'm gonna keep this backpack. Oh, you're keeping yours? Yeah. Okay, great, easy, easy. And that is a perfect place to go store stuff before you even go to the park. Now, here's one little tip though, I'm gonna say this. If you are coming through security though, you're gonna get some looks because the security guards are gonna have to open up your suitcase and your luggage and go through every single thing to make sure it's okay before they can go bring it into this little area. Just be, be prepared for that. But other than that, it's a great place to store your bags. Uh -huh. Big bags. Let's go have some fun this Disneyland, guys. Oh, I have something to say. Hey, I want to take a quick moment to talk to you. I want you to know that I think you are important. You are amazing. And did you know that you make the world a better place and I am talking to you. Did you know that? You might be thinking, you can't be talking to me. And if you're thinking that, get that thought out of your mind right now, because I am talking to you. I want you to know that you're absolutely amazing and you make the world a better place. And speaking of the world, we're gonna be traveling around this world. And we're trying to show you everything you, that we can. Here's what I ask from you guys. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, 
And then down below, put it in the comments. What do you want us to see? What do you want to see when we go to all the different Disney parks around the world? What do you want to see? And we're going to try to show it to you so you guys can see. Uh, we want to show you what you want to see. And again, I just want you to know that you are amazing and you make the world a better place. You are awesome. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining us today. Oh my gosh, this was the first day of our tour. Bum, 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 bum. We're going all around the world. Ba, 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 I hope it turns out good. I hope you guys are great because you are amazing. Mm hmm.